I ain't been in any trouble but so much misery. Fannie Mae, baby, won't you please come home? Fannie Mae, baby, won't you please come home? I ain't been myself, baby, since you've been gone. about Tina Turner all day. Man, uh, the past two nights I've been watch. I've uh, I spent the last two nights watching uh, the Tina Turner documentary. And uh, the, the, during the last part, the last episode of it, I was I was in tears. I just love her, you know. I just love her and. Uh, I was around her for a while because uh, right right in that, when she was hitting those big stadiums and when she was really at the top of her game uh, in uh, the middle 80s, 85, 86, 87 was when, was when she was really monstrous, was uh, when, uh, well, that was when I saw her because uh, I was with Joe Cocker and we were opening a few times, I don't know how many times. Maybe, I don't know, all together, it was different. It, we didn't tour with her, just just here and there when our when our tours matched, you know. Maybe five times, maybe. And, uh, and, uh, I, I kind of, I kind of, I got a big crush on her, you know, like, like, like every other. Red-blooded male, <laughs> you know. I did. She isn't as as tall as you as you'd think. She just looks tall because her her legs go up to her neck, you know. Uh, but she's she wasn't that she was she's not that uh, uh, interesting. One uh, one day we were playing this mud fest. Uh, it was outdoors, um, and it was uh, well, all her shows were outdoors. <laughs> These stadiums, you know. But th this place was. Like, like, kind of like Woodstock, kind of thing. And uh, so it was the the ground was was soggy uh, backstage uh, since all the setting up the uh, the stage and all the work done. The, it was trodden and and squishy now and just muddy. And uh, there were people uh, boards had been laid down uh, that went from here to there for people to walk on but when she, I was when she stepped out of her trailer which was about which was about 25 yards from the back of the stage uh, a town car pulled up to the trailer and she she carefully she gingerly uh, walked down the steps with people taking her both both hands on both sides carefully she was in you know foot foot high stilettos you know, and she had a skirt up to here, you know, just all just all these legs. That's all you could see. Uh, uh, and she got down to the car, and the back door was open. I thought, and there was a board. There were there was a two by six or a couple of two by eights leading to the stage. She could have 
gone that way, but no, she got in the back of the of the town car. And what's interesting is when she got in, she she got in. It was kind of awkward, get her getting in because she got in facing backwards, and put her knees on the seat. And I I thought, why is she? Oh, it's it's so she didn't wrinkle her. She didn't want to sit on her skirt, her her little dress. She didn't want to sit on it. She wanted to keep everything pressed and neat, you know. So so she <laughs> she put her her forearms on the on the on the seat on the back of the seat. And looked out the back win back window, and the, they closed the door, and the car did a a U turn, and came came up to the steps of the of the stage, and somebody opened the door for her, and she got out, and went up, you know, and she went up the stairs. I watched her up the stairs, and she uh, walked out on the stage, and then you heard this thunder, you know, when, when the the moment she walked out on stage, the crowd went, ha huh, nuts. And they started. Yeah, that was uh, that was a, a a fun tour. I know, I know, her sax. But the guy who played sax for well, there was a friend of mine named Derek Dyer at the time. He had been playing with Joe, and he left Joe before I started with Joe. So, so Derek, uh, Joe Cocker is a performer that Derek and I have in common. But I guess Joe had opened for. Uh, uh, Tina before, and I guess he networked, uh, and uh, and he got a gig with her. So now he was, uh, now he was playing with her. So I got to see him. We're a couple of Boston uh, alums, uh, you know. So I would see him now and then. Hey, Derek, you know, and uh, and I admit to envy. Isn't it? Isn't it funny? Like uh, as as high as you might go, you play with Joe Cocker. Oh my God! Yes, I did. But you know, I, I was I was playing with Joe and going, yeah, this is cool. But I, I'd look at Tina and go, man, I wish I had this gig. I didn't I didn't angle for it though. I don't I don't know. It didn't occur to me. Uh, but when I watched that documentary last night, I knew I know that the, about the abusive relationship. But just the thought of anybody hitting that that uh, beautiful woman makes makes my blood boil. I hate I I hate that guy. <laughs> I always have. <laughs> Still do. <laughs> Drop dead. Oh, he did. Good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. 
I'm walking today. Said for you yesterday, here you come walking today. Yeah, your mouth's wide open, you don't know what to say. I say good morning, blues, blues, how do you do? Good morning, blues, blues, how do you do? I'm doing all right, blues, tell me how. few months ago, a couple months ago, I worked up and performed on this very show, in this very chair, uh, Neil Young's Harvest Moon. I figured it out. I figured out how to play as best I could. I just, you know, I, I listened to it and and figured out how to make it sound like it sounds on the record. And then my friend uh, John Curtis, who's a real guitar player, uh, wrote to me and said, "Hey, John, uh, uh, he's a, he teaches. He performs, and he also teaches, and uh, he has a lot of tutorials." online, John Curtis, uh, and uh, one of them happens to be how to play Harvest Moon. So he wrote to me and said, hey John, uh, Harvest Moon was great. You know, uh, maybe uh, uh, you should look at my tutorial on, on how to play it. Thanks a lot. So I did, uh, and uh, I got to admit, it is easier. I'm not, I'm not going to say I, I complained any better. But uh, it is a little easier. <laughs> children sleeping we could dream this night away but there's a full moon rising that's go dancing in the We know where the music's playing Let's go out and feel the night Cause I'm still in love with you I wanna see you dance again Because I'm still in love with you this harvest moon uh. when we were strangers I love you from afar When we were lovers, I loved you with all my heart. But 
But now it's getting late The moon is climbing high I want to celebrate See it shining in your eyes Because I'm still in love with you I want to see you dance again Because I'm still in love with you On this harvest moon I'm still in love with you I want to see you dance again Because I'm still in love with you On this harvest moon It's time for the Midway Joke! There was this uh, guy who was uh, obsessed with, with uh, tits. He, uh, he, to the point where it was becoming uh, a liability, it was, it was, uh, it was interfering with the normal uh, with the way he uh, normally conducted his daily affairs. He, he was so uh, distracted, he couldn't concentrate. And uh, it was affecting his work, his job, his home life. Uh, so he, he went for help. He went to a therapist. And uh, the therapist said, so you're, uh, you're, you're uh, uh, fixated, you're obsessed with, with breasts, I, I, I understand. And the guy said, "Yeah," and uh, the, the therapist said, "Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the lay of the land with you, so I'm gonna hold up some pictures, and you tell me the first thing, first word that comes to mind when you see these pictures." And uh, the other guy said, "Okay," and so the doctor held up a picture of uh, a bowl of fruit. And the guy said, tits! And, uh, and the doctor looked at the picture and went, okay, that, that, that makes sense. Uh, so then he held up a picture of uh, Jerusalem with all the, all the domes. And the guy said, tits! You know, and and uh, he, looked, he, looked, uh, he looked at the picture and, and it went, you yeah, know, okay, I guess I can see that. And then he held up a picture of uh, Red Square with all those, all those uh, onion, those big globular tops to those those towers and the guy said tits you know, and, and he he looked at it and went yeah i guess i guess i can see that so uh he was kind of scratching his head because he could he could see that these are pretty obvious really and and so he held up a he found another picture and, and he held it up and it was a picture of, of a windshield wiper just a, just a solitary windshield wiper and the guy said tits and he went how does this make you think of tits? And the guy went. That was the Midway Joke. I didn't practice it. I should have.
I might forget the lyrics. But it's me. You got that thing, that little thing, that everybody wants that father, won't you, baby? You got that thing, that little thing, that's what they want you, baby. You got that lovely patter, that je ne sais quoi, that arching of the eyebrow, that je ne sais quoi. Some might call it duende, some might call it class. You might say charisma, not to mention that great ass. You got that thing, that little thing, that everybody wants, that's what the bunch of baby. You got that thing, that little thing, that's why they want you, baby. Un poquito de salsa. A little bit of soul, an arching of the eyebrow with one closet moon. That thing, you got that thing, that little thing, that everybody wants, that's why they want you, baby. They want you, baby. It's something so uncanny, can't put my finger on it. I wish that it was solid so I could linger on it. No, there's something more that makes my heart take wing. Not available in stores, it's that thing that. ring go 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 I know that we would love a cause. Maybe I could rub off my hope eternal springs. Maybe I could get me some of esa cosa. Dámelo. That thing. That little thing. That's why the bunch of baby. Alright gang, here's an old song by somebody. It go like this here.
put your sweet lips a little closer to the phone and let's pretend that we're together all alone I'll tell the man to turn the jukebox way down low and you can tell your friend there with you he'll have to go Whisper to me, tell me, do you love me true? Or is he holding you the way I used to do? Though love is blind, Make up your mind I've got to know Should I hang up Or will you tell him He'll have to go You can't say the words I long to hear when you're with another man if you want me answer yes or no darling I will understand Put your sweet lips a little closer to the phone And let's pretend we're together all alone I'll tell the man Turn the jukebox way down low And you can tell your friend there with you He'll have to go And you can tell your friend there with you He'll have to go Hey, little girl, 
How's about a kiss? Hello. How's, how's about a kiss? Well, if you don't kiss me, babe, you wouldn't know what you're going to miss. Minor five. Uh. Hey, little girl, thank you for everything. Hey, little girl, thanks for everything. Well, you know, now I love you. Hope you feel the same. Uh, I watched the Tina Turner documentary and uh, cried through the last part of it. Uh, and I've been thinking about it all day. And I started to watch the Q uh, documentary, but I, I lasted about 20 seconds because I just started getting I just started getting angry. Because e even even in the first 20 seconds, it was it was making allusions to how easy it is to get caught up in this. And one thing leading to the other. Yeah, if you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Bill Maher. Bill Maher today. What? Uh, he said something pretty funny about uh, about that. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, the, the, this some the latest thing. Oh yeah. He said, and he said this was true. Uh, that the, the the latest theory that uh, the, to jump up. What was uh, from the Q people, <laughs> the Q people, and the Q-tip people, uh, was that uh, that the container ship that blocked the Suez Canal had had uh, babies in it uh, for the for the Israelis to eat or something like to, or to have sex with or children to have sex with or something like that. And then he said, "You know, you Q people." You sure seem to think about having sex with children a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 they do, don't they? <laughs> Stop sleeping 
Cause it won't be too long So darn glad he let me try it again Cause my last time on earth I lived a whole world of sin I'm so glad that I know more than I knew then Gonna keep on trying Till I reach the highest ground Yeah. Till I reach the highest ground No one gonna get me down Yeah